Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lecture series of Python for Data Science. I am your instructor, Ms. Alparapala. Today we are going to learn about what is data science. So the topics to be covered today is what is data science, then after why data science, then after components of data science, then applications of data science. So first of all, what is the definition of data science? So the data science can be defined as a process of analyzing the data for making a business decision or marketing decision. So ultimately, we can say that the data science is a field in a science which is basically working for the data. Now this data can be of any big data. So what is the big data actually? So the big data is a huge amount of data clustered at a different different location but still we are gathering all the data and then after we are analyzing our data and then after we are getting the knowledge from your available data so this is what your big data so ultimately the data science is what the process of analyzing the data then after transforming the data and to get the knowledge by which we can take the market decision or decision a business decision according to it. So this is basically working on your big data fundamental which is nothing but what extracting of the knowledge from the data set. So this field composes ultimately preparing the data for analysis, formulating data science problem, analyzing the data, developing data driven solution and presenting or finding the solution to the high level decision. So these all are the components of our data science. So basically why data science is needed? So today we already know that the data profession has uh, many of the fundamentals, right? So the data science is very important. Suppose if you are doing everything uh, in this era of technology by your, uh, by your mind itself. Likewise, you are uh, taking the decision that uh, if you are working on any mall, Right? Suppose you are working at any mall and still you are taking decision that what to opt or what to next uh, purchase for the your mall purpose. Right? So this all kind of decision can be taken technologically but still you are doing this all fundamental by using your brain only. But this can be having any lack like of misleading purchases also. So there will be a technology which is called as a data science which is very useful in this fundamental so this is the why we are using the data science next one is uh, how we can collect our big data so our big data can be collected according to the research done by various researchers online surveys various government organization data and social media account data likewise you can also look for the facebook and instagram and or uh, twitter and all right this all are very uh, social media accounts which is used very frequently they are having a millions or billions of users on it and they are having uh, a lot of millions of posts comments like dislike and everything according to your social media account so this data can be counted as very big data so this is what our fundamental that how we can gather our big data now how you can do the state data science so for the data science, one person which is a data scientist must have to knowledge of, must will have to knowledge of statistics, then after a good knowledge of mathematics and the idea of business strategies to analyze the data and to help the organization in marketing decision. So these all are the combination of various skills that a person must need to have for, a, for to be a data analyst. Now the components of data science, so we are having this all components that is statistics, domain expertise, data engineering, advanced computing and visualization. So let us we learn this all one by one. So first one is statistics. So basically statistics is one of the most important component in a data science, which is basically a way to collect and analyze the numerical data. So whatever your numerical data term that will be related to this only. 
Next one is domain expertise. Obviously, you need to have the domain expertise of something for which you are analyzing your data. Likewise, suppose if I am giving you an example that you are going to analyze the data of the market uh, up and down. Okay, so you are going to predict that the tomorrow the market will be up or market will be down. So obviously, you need to have the share market knowledge for calculation of this whole fundamental of uh, predicting the market up and down. Right. So this is what the domain expertise. So one person who is going to analyze the data for particular domain, they must need to have the domain expertise of it. Next one is data engineering. So what is the data engineering? So ultimately it is a, uh, a branch in which we are going to have the deep knowledge of your data. So how we can extract the deep knowledge from our data. So for that we must need to acquire the data, store the data in proper format, then after retrieve the data and transform the data according to our requirement and then after we are analyzing our data. So this is what a data engineering, this is ultimately obviously we can say that uh, uh, co may be correlated to your RDBMS concept that is relational data management system. So it is a fundamental of your data engineering. Next one is visualization. Obviously not all the people is data analysis. So no people can get or uh, have the understanding that what is your numerical data is going to tell you. So for that reason, you must need to have the visualization of your available data and available output of your data. So whatever you are analyzing that must be represented according to any of the visualization technique. Next one is advanced computing. Obviously for this all purpose needs to be done, that is of your data scientist purpose needs to be done. You must need to have a good knowledge of designing, writing, debugging and maintaining the source code of your computer program. So that is what your advanced computing. So for this obviously we are using what Python. Next one is mathematics. So obviously the mathematic is what a mathematical calculation for the probability calculation of any of the future uh, we can say probability generation. So this is what a mathematics this is also a main component of your data science. Then after the machine learning or uh, now the name itself suggests that what is a machine learning. Obviously we are doing all the fundamental of your data science. It is a basically uh, one part of it we can say it as a machine learning. So in which we are gathering all the data, then after we are creating from some of the data, some of the model for the prediction, then we are going to train our data. Okay, so there will be a two, two part of data from your available data. Okay, that is the training data and train data. So from your available data, we are going to make the business model or machine learning model. Then after we are going to apply our some of the data to train our model. Okay, and then after whatever the next data we are giving it as an input that it, it will predict according to your data machine learning model. So this is the fundamental of machine learning and which we are going to perfectly use in your data science. So this all are the basic core component of our data science. Now next one is application of data science. So basically what are the applications? So very first application which we are going to learn is image recognition. So basically what is image recognition, we can take the different different examples of it. So you are going, uh, you obviously you all will have the account of Facebook, right? Now whenever you are searching or you have post any of the photo of your friend with you on your uh, like any of the post, right? So basically at that time the uh, Facebook can recognize the face and it can suggest to you the friends or related to friends of friends. So this is also a kind of application of the face recognition or we can say the image processing. Then after you are getting the um, similarly WhatsApp scan of WhatsApp wave that is also image recognition and processing. Then after Google provides you any of the searching facility using the images also. So this is also what image processing. Then after you can also have this image processing in many different different areas also. Likewise for locking system. If you are going, uh, if you are having a mobile phone lock, it is also recognizing you as a person to unlock your phone, right? So this is also an application of image recognition or image processing. 
So this all are the application related to the image processing in data science. Then after next one is speech recognition. So obviously we are having the fundamental of speech recognition. Right now most of the people are using Siri, Cortana, Google. That is okay Google also we are using. So this is all what? Your speech recognition. Which is basically first of all storing your own voice data and then after at whatever time if you are asking for any services then that service can be provided by, by your service bot so this is also a kind of application of data science the next one is gaming so in gaming in machine learning algorithm they are increasing the gaming world day by day so obviously you had also like uh, played uh, pubg game right in which also they are, we are having the bots robots we can say so these bots are what doing they are self intelligent robots that is a self intelligent program game for uh, your pubg is developing right so they are learning by themselves they are training by themselves so this is also what a fundamental of data science next one is transportation so we are also using a self driving car maybe you had heard of the uh, new launching car of the tesla okay it is what a self driving car so now future industry can also have a numerous amount of the self driving cars and uh, trains and planes and uh, etc next one is healthcare so the data science can also be used in a healthcare by like a kind of any of the disease detection drug discovery medical image analysis virtual medical bots etc so this all are we can see that application of data science and last one is the risk detection which is a financial industry is having the risk and we can also generate that if it is having the risk uh, if it is having the higher risk in your share market a particular share is having the higher risk then we should not buy so this all prediction can also be done according to this data science thank you